So, finding velocity. A ball is dropped from rest from a height of 10 meters above the ground. The ball falls freely and reaches the ground two seconds later. What is the average speed of the ball? So, first off, we're going to identify our variables. So, we've got V, velocity. We don't know that. This says, what is the average speed? So, I'm going to write a question mark there. Um, X, so you can write X equals distance. In in the equation that you're given in physics problems on standardized tests, it's going to look like this, V equals change in X over the change in T. Um, you just need to remember that X stands for a distance. That variable there means a distance. You're talking about the distance something goes in a certain amount of time. So T is time. So we've got two seconds later. I'm going to write time right next to that just so we remember. Okay. Um, if I go back through this, so ball start from a height of 10 meters above the ground. So 10 meters, I'm going to underline that. That's going to be my D distance. So I'll write 10 meters. Um, and then the ball falls freely and reaches the ground two seconds later. So my time then is two seconds. The total time it took to do this is two seconds. I'm tr still trying to find what is the average speed of the ball. So first step, we're going to plug in our values. So I've got velocity equals change in X over change in T. I don't know my velocity, so I'll keep V right there, equals. And then change in X, I know that um, we had 10 meters from the beginning of its fall to the end. So I'll write 10 meters up here. And then the time it took it to do that was 2 seconds. So that goes for change in T, so 2 seconds. Perfect. All right, so step 2, we're going to divide these guys. Uh, so I'm going to set this up again, so V equals 10 meters divided by 2 seconds, all right? Set this up with long division. The easiest way to remember these long division problems, um, and I'll do this up here really fast, or how to, turn, how to turn fractions into long division is this. You can think of the number on the top, so the 10 and the 2. Think of the number on the top as a person, all right? And the two, the number at the bottom, think of this as this crazy monster with an eye, a strangely shaped mouth, looks kind of disappointed. Um, so anyways, at the end of the day, this person rides this monster. We don't know why. It doesn't matter. So the 10 um, on the top, is that going to go inside of the house or outside of the house? Right? So the person is going to go inside of the house. The 10 will go in there. On the outside, this monster, the disappointed monster, we don't want that kind of disappointment in our lives. So we're going to keep the disappointed monster outside. So that's going to be the two will go outside. Really easy way to remember that. All right, so two goes into one zero times. Two goes into ten five times. Five times two gives me ten. Subtract them, zero. So my final answer is five, and I was solving for the variable v right here. So I've got v equals... Five, and this was meters over seconds, so we'll keep this as meters per second. And that's my final answer with units.